You can't use AI voices in YouTube videos. Yes, I know, it's a shock. Considering literally the other day, I was making a video telling you how you could use Steve AI in conjunction with ChatGTP to be able to make yourself a cash cow YouTube channel and make hundreds of dollars. Well, of course, that depends on which niche you choose. But the point is that I was telling you how you could simply make this video. And if you want to see that video, it's just here. But there's a few things wrong with it. Well, not necessarily wrong, but there's a few things added to it that we need to talk about. The first thing is that you cannot use AI voice anymore for YouTube channels. It will be classed as monotonous content, which means that when you do all this work to try and build your channel up to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, because that's what you'll need, and incidentally, my channel's not anywhere near that yet, so uh, <laughs> you know what to do, then it means that they could just simply say, hey, you know, we're not going to monetize you and then that means that you lose all that work that you've done. Now, is it possible to get monetized with an AI voice and a text-to-speech voice? Yes, it is possible and many channels have done it, which is why most people think it's okay. However, after doing a little bit of research, I've realized that there's a clause in the YouTube monetization which says that there's no monotonous content or voices allowed, which I guess you could kind of say because it's not a human voice, it could be classed as that. So in order to avoid that today in this video, we're gonna go over a couple of things that you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to you. So option number one is to simply record your own voice. Now I know what you're thinking, well that's a lot of hardship because I'm trying to create a video and all that kind of thing. Now the great thing about Steve AI is that it creates your video in just under two to three minutes and then all you have to do is download it. So all you have to do is very simple and that is you have to create it without a voice on it whatsoever. You can put the music on it, you can put all the other stuff, all of the stock footage together which will automatically create for you and you'll create that video in just a few moments time. Once you've created that video, you've then got a great video that you can then just put a voiceover to. And you might be thinking, well, I don't have all of that equipment. Where am I gonna afford to buy all of this equipment? So I'm gonna show you a way right now so that you don't have to buy any special equipment. Well, maybe one thing. Okay, so here is the equipment that you will need. The first thing you need is your mobile phone. This is your ordinary mobile phone that you use every day in your lives. And then the second bit of equipment that you probably have in your kitchen, and that is this. <laughs> now it looks like a normal flower sieve or maybe a tea strainer, but in fact, it's a great pop guard to be able to put in front of your phone so that that way it takes away all of the plosives. Ba -ba -ba. Another thing you'll need is some kind of box. So we'll put that box just there and we will put the phone on there like that. And then we will hold the plosive guard in front. And then we need to be at sort of an angle about like this really. It doesn't really matter too much because you're gonna use a software in a moment that's gonna take away anything else. Now, the reason we put it on a box is so that that way we don't get any extraneous noises when you're holding the phone or anything like that because we don't want any you know jiggery pokery or anything like that. And now it's all ready for your recording setup. Okay, so here we are now. We have just finished recording our Steve AI video. We've now got that on the desktop, ready to read. We've got our camera set up on the box and we've got our handy dandy pop guard here so that that way, if we have any plosives, then it doesn't get recorded as much. So all we're going to do is we're going to hit the record button. Now this is on my general camera, but if you want to, you can also download a, uh, you know, a recorder, a voice recorder only. And then that way you've got it already in MP3 format when you have to export it. If not, then you you will have to export the video and then you will have to play around with the video to make it mp3 format um, and you can do that by running that through uh, an editor that you have or something like that so in this case all we're going to do is we're going to play this and we're going to start reading simple as that so let's turn on the volume and let's begin the raven is a narrative poem by edgar Allan poe first published in 18 a few moments later Okay, so now you've connected your phone to your computer or whatever you're going to do, maybe you've uploaded it to uh, an email or something like that. You want to get your audio and you want to have a listen to it. Now, if you find that it sounds okay, then you can probably use it just as it is. But just in case, a best thing to do is to go to this AI software just here. This is podcast.adobe.com. I will leave the link in the comments in the description below as always. And all you can do is you drag your piece of, uh, you know, your, your whatever it is, your voiceover into this thing here and then what it does is it uses AI software to enhance the speech 
and make it sound better. So we're gonna leave it to do its thing. It's gonna take about five minutes, give or take, and we'll come back when it's done. Now, once it's done, it will give you the normal speech. So let's have a listen to it normally. It tells the story of a young man who is visited by a raven, a bird with dark and ominous connotations. There you go, so that's how it sounds without it being enhanced in any way, shape or form. And then let's click on the advanced version. The raven speaks only one word, nevermore, and becomes a symbol of the narrator's descent into madness. So there you see, you can see that it's actually better quality. It takes out all the hisses and the pops and the background noise and that kind of thing and condenses it into one great file for you. And that's all using AI, so you don't have to worry about a thing. And it's completely free. So then all you have to do is to download by clicking on the download button. And of course, you get an enhanced audio that you can now add to your video in the first place. Now, if you want to, you can actually go back into the Steve AI software and you can actually upload it to the Steve AI so that that way it's all done for you and you don't have to worry about it. Or you can take that video that you've already downloaded to your desktop that you've been reading from and you can put that into another editing software, perhaps DaVinci Resolve, for example, and then you can add that audio onto the clip. And therefore, you've got a finished clip with audio and music and all that kind of stuff and you are not going to have to worry about whether you can be monetized because you're using your voice in a studio type microphone setting which is great because it means that it's good quality and it's ready to put on the internet now obviously you're not doing voiceovers for people or anything like that it's literally just a YouTube channel so even though it's probably not studio quality it's good enough for a YouTube audience and the sound is perfect enough for you to be able to hear it nice and clearly and that's pretty much all you really need anyway um, obviously as you get more professional and as you get more money from your YouTube channel when you do get monetized then maybe you can buy yourself a nice microphone so that, that way you'll be able to use that to do your recordings but either way the great thing about it is that Steve AI does all the hard work for you all you have to do is put your voice to it now the second option when it comes to being able to monetize a channel with using the AI voice, which can be done, and that is that you're not worried about being monetized at all. Uh, you know, you don't have to wait until you get those 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 uh, uh, subscribers. All you have to do is find other ways to monetize the channel in the meantime or forever if you want to. And in fact, the best ways to monetize YouTube channels is by maybe adding affiliate links for products, for instance, you could do a whole video based around a product you could use Steve AI to generate the information that you need and then do a voiceover for it or you could use the AI voiceover in that case and then you put a link to some of the products that you've been talking about or you might do a Steve AI voice video on uh, you know some kind of technology or something and then in the comments you can put links to stuff that you can buy on Amazon that's associated with what you're talking about and if somebody buys something from that link that you put it's not costing them any more to go to Amazon to buy that product it just means that you actually get a commission for putting that link to the product on there of course you've got hundreds of websites like Clickbank and uh, Warrior Plus and that kind of thing so for instance maybe you do a, uh, a health and fitness channel maybe that's your niche or maybe you're doing a weight loss channel or something like that. So therefore, you can use the Steve AI to create your video, you can use the AI voice, and then you can simply put links in the comments to keto diets or, you know, uh, PDFs that other people have written about how to lose weight or something like that, or any of these places where you can do affiliate marketing. And if you don't want to do that, you can even sell your own course. So if you've got a course that you've got and you're, a, you know, an expert on the subject that you're doing these videos for, then you can use that to do your channel with the AI voice and then you can sell your course at the end of it as well so there's hundreds of ways to make money on YouTube without actually needing to get your channel monetized and for it to be a cash channel in that way but there today in this video I've given you two options the first is to add your voice to it and therefore you don't have to worry about demonetization or the second option is to simply make sure that you put links and uh, affiliate links and stuff like that into your channel and you build your channel by doing affiliate links rather than relying on the YouTube AdSense, which until you make it good and make it really, really big in the channel, then it's not going to be much for you anyway. But at the same time, I don't want you going through doing all that work, trying to get all those subscribers and all that stuff, and then find out that you can't get monetized because of some little thing that uh, they've put in their clause that talks about AI voices and monotonous content. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to know more details about how you can make some money on YouTube, and I'll see you on the next video.
Bye-bye for now.